Hello friends. Today we will talk about annotation of an image in ImageJ software. You might have seen images figures like this one where adrenal gland has been labeled like this one is adrenal medulla. This double headed arrow shows the adrenal cortex and different parts of adrenal cortex are also labeled like zona reticularis, zona fasciculata and zona glomerulosa. We can also label our image in image J software. Uh, this process is called annotation. For this purpose, we have an image here. Okay, this is a very beautiful image of a kidney uh, where you can see different parts of it like uh, distal convoluted tubule, thin tubule, proximal convoluted tubule. Uh, this is the Bowman's capsule, the outer one. This is Bowman's space and this is glomerulus. We can label all, the, all these parts. For that purpose, just click on this text tool and click where you want to put your text. For example, this is a uh, digital convoluted tubule. You can move it around and you can edit it. For editing, double click on this text tool. Uh, here we have a dialog box in which we can change the font from Arial to like uh, sans serif. Style can be changed from bold to plain or bold plus italic. The text may be right, it may be written in the left, right or in the middle of this box that we have drawn. We can change the color like uh, blue. You may add a background if it is necessary. The font size can be increased or decreased. And we can also write this text at some angle. Uh, we will write it like uh, at this point. Okay, after that, click close, then go to edit and click draw. This is a compulsory step. When you click draw, the text is drawn on this image. It will not vanish. In order to write here, we will click here and we will write Bowman's space like BS. You can see it is hardly visible and we can edit this as well. Double click on A and tilt it to some angle so that it may be easily visible like we might tilt it at a 90 degree angle and reposition it in the middle of this space. Okay, then click close. Similarly, we can add an arrow. For that purpose, click this arrow tool and draw an arrow here. After that, go to edit and select draw. If you are satisfied with this color, you may change this color as well. Okay. For this, uh, for the time being, I am drawing it in blue and we uh, may label it as Bowman's capsule. After selecting this text tool, click in front of this arrow and write uh, Bowman's capsule. 
so this is moment capsule you can edit this as well as we add a background here like white background to make it a little more prominent click close and for final touch select draw you can also add a double head arrow like if we want to mention that this region from this point to oh sorry first select this uh, line tool and draw a line from this end to this now click on uh, arrow tool double click on arrow tool and you can make it double head you will have arrow on both the ends as mentioned earlier we can change its color like from blue to black its width and size can also be changed like like i am increasing the width and this is the size this is the size of arrow and this is the width of line uh, we may draw an outline or uh, keep it solid uh, it has different styles like open filled notched and other you can also add only bars at both the terminals after after that click ok and you may label this for that go to text box tool again and click here oh sorry uh, we need to draw this line once again and what we missed we missed edit and draw now we will write the text select text tool right here this is blue marulus and uh, we may write it at some angle which is parallel to the line i hope i think this is parallel to the line we may reposition it in the middle of the line and we may add a background here like white to make it more prominent click close and don't forget to draw it oh one more thing if you want to uh, yes please notice here that the label that we uh, wrote here is not is no more here because we have to use another method to draw an angled text it says we need to go to image overlay and add selection okay image overlay and add selection now this text is written uh, for this woman's space you need to double click here and make it an angle of 90 degrees then go to image overlay and add selection so this is how you uh, write text or you annotate your image in image j you have added text arrows and barred lines you have also added text at an angle like 90 degree or 45 degree or whatever the angle may be i hope you have understood the concept and it will be helpful for you please like this video and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you so much